I know Keith is a big fan of charging up uh, right here where he parks in the parking lot. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. Nothing better than free, uh, to me, electricity. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you what it's like to live with an electric car, but not what it's like to live with me, because nobody wants uh, to live Yeah, like we're that. not going yeah. to, that's a dark place. Yeah. Nobody's interested in that. All right, <laughs> we're starting to clear out after a rough start to the morning with showers and a lot of clouds around. The last of the rain moving through down East Maine. I did mention that there's one area of showers back over New Hampshire that'll get down into York County, but most of us, once the rain has ended, are in good shape for the rest of today. Back end of the cloud cover is moving very, very quickly, so it's a totally different day over southern and western Maine as opposed to down east where it's still raining. Eventually we all clear out temperatures, pop into the mid 50s, already starting to do that over southwestern Maine, still in the 40s where it's cloudy and showery. So afternoon looks good. Overnight tonight looks good. It's chilly. Temperatures drop down to freezing, a little bit below freezing into the mountains, probably about 32 flat along the coastline. Tomorrow's a good looking day. A lot of sunshine. Temperatures aren't extraordinarily warm, but we get to 50 to maybe 52, 53 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. Clouds come in tomorrow night, and then here comes our next storm system for Friday. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, this model's a little faster with this storm than the other models. I think the first half of the day is okay. I think the middle of the day is when the rain starts, and then into the afternoon and evening, the heavier bands of rain come through. It's a relatively quick moving storm, so that helps us, but there will be some downpours here Friday afternoon into Friday night as this basically cold front, it's kind of a juiced up cold front, comes through, and then it's eventually out of here in time for the weekend, so Saturday looks pretty decent. We'll have to watch these winds. The models seem to think it's pretty gusty. Experience tells us though we have a temperature inversion that'll probably make it hard to mix those winds all the way down the surface. So I'd say at this time, prepare for wind gusts of 35 to up to 40 miles an hour. I don't think it'll be higher than that unless something changes here in the setup. So that means it will be windy, gusty, but not significant problems Friday afternoon into Friday night. <clears throat> probably lose the last of your leaves in a lot of spots. Wind moves out on Friday night, and we're in better shape over the weekend. The weekend looks fine. There'll be a mixture of sun and clouds on Saturday, some sprinkles overnight Saturday night into early Sunday. And uh, then the real thing we're going to watch into next week is a cool down. A trough comes in, really sets down. That pushes temperatures down for highs only into the 40s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So it gets significantly cooler, especially mid next week. So Veterans Day looks good. We'll watch the rain on Friday should be good on Saturday, a couple showers Saturday night, breezy cool on Sunday in the upper 40s. And again, I think going into next week, Pat, it will be much cooler. Just a quick note, I already got these emails. <clears throat> Don't worry, I got tested for COVID. <laughs> Just got a little cold. I've got a three-year-old three in daycare, so. A little yeah. laryngitis yeah. won't kill you. Yeah. All right, thanks, Keith. <laughs>